Howdy Archery fans, Dennis here. I wanted to uh, show a new bow I made that uh, Nick, the backyard boyer, just recently posted a video on shooting in on making it, and it's the uh, Elvish horse bow inspired by the Hobbit movie. kind of dark, it's hard to see, isn't it? Mine is, instead of starting with a 60 inches of pipe, I started with 56, so I shortened each uh, end, each sia, by an inch, and then shortened the handle section by an inch, so that left the mid section only about a half an inch. Um, each each mid limb about a half an inch shorter. So I wanted to maybe boost the weight a little, but keep it roughly the same dimensions. Uh, the only other thing I did a little different was I, after I flattened my ends, I ended up rounding them a little bit, kind of a little bit more like the um, Hunger Games bows, but I still did get some some reflex out of them, just curved them a little bit. I don't know if you can see that there. They are curved a little. I, I wrapped the handle and I added a, a rest as well. Um, just a little PVC rest um, oh, and wrapped it with leather. So it comes out of the leather wrap. I you can see that. So the arrow contacts leather on both sides. Uh, I just have a paracord 550 string on it right now, which is working pretty good. I may just leave it. We'll see. And just tied tied some string on there for a knot. Um, when I first shot this, when it was just a bare PVC bow, no vest, no handle, wrap, or anything, it uh, felt really good. And then I saw the comment uh, Mako made about looked a little hand shocky, <laughs> and I thought, gee, I don't, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice any hand shocky, but. Um, but actually, he was right. It, now that I've got it painted and wrapped and everything, he's right. It is a little hand shoddy. Not bad, but but yeah, a little more than definitely more than the than the Hunger Games. And I, I think it's probably because there's more mass than the tip would be my guess. That's pushing back against your hand. But it's a really cool bow. It looks good and it shoots good and it feels fast. Uh, Nick, this one, this one after I finished it, um, it measured out at 50 pounds at 28 inches. Actually, like one or two pounds more than 50, but uh, I know it's going to go down, so I, I just calling it 50 at 28. Um, whereas. The Hunger Games capital bow that I made with the wood handle, which I think was also shorter than the original, uh, was started out 55 pounds. I suspect it's not 55 pounds anymore because it's in the back of my truck forever and it gets shot a lot and I'm sure it's lost a little. I, I'm not leaving them strong anymore because of the heat, but still, I, I don't think it's 55. It's probably... 45 to 50 range, but I'm going to shoot them both for you and uh, do a little comparison. Okay, I'm going to start out shooting the Hunger Games Capital Bow. It's one of my favorite shooters. 
kind of beat up now, but it still shoots really good. It's about 15 yards. Over the top. One thing, uh, I just shot the Elvis horse bow a minute ago, and because it's not a center shot bow, and I'm used to shooting mo mostly center shot bows, it shoots to the left uh, of where I'm used to, to aiming. So you do have to rethink and compensate for that. So. So when you're shooting a, a bow without a, a center shot vest, you definitely have to move everything to the right to be on target. So it's a little tricky switching back and forth sometimes. But now I've got all my excuses in order. There we go. Okay, now we'll shoot the the new Hobbit-inspired Elvish horse bow as designed by Nick, the backyard boyer, and created by me, Dennis from Texas. Here we go. Oh, right in the middle. Look at that. Again, a little bit of hand shock if you're thinking about it, but it's not real bad. the leather, I think it's really a quiet bow to alright, there you have it comparison between the old Hunger Games capital bow that I put a wood handle in and cut out and the new um, Hobbit inspired Elvish horse bow as designed by Nick the Backyard Boy. Nick this is a good bow I like it. Thanks for sharing with us. Thanks for watching.